Yes, everyone, thanks for tuning into another video. As always, if you get any value from the video, please feel free to like and subscribe. And if you've got any thoughts, comments, or questions you'd like me to explore in another video, please leave them down below and let's get into it. So in today's video, I'm gonna be talking about how to become more confident. So before we discuss the points, let's just talk about what confidence is or being confident is. So, you know, being confident is essentially having faith in your ability to achieve success in, you know, any sort of field. So are you confident in the gym? Are you confident at mathematics? Are you confident in driving a car? So obviously your confidence in a specific uh, field or activity. And then you've got, are you confident as a person? Now, there's many things you can do to become more confident, you know, such as things like, I believe, go to the gym, learn how to speak louder, but we're not gonna talk about little specific tips. What I wanna talk about is how to change your whole perspective and how to engage in life from a holistic perspective and slowly build up your confidence. Because, you know, 99% of people out there, I believe if they're not feeling confident, have the potential to feel confident, or if they'd like to feel more confident, also have the potential to achieve that also. So, where do we start? Well, the first thing that I think one needs to do if you're feeling that you're lacking confidence is start to do things that you think you can't do. Now, obviously, I don't mean jump off a building and try and fly because that's not gonna work. But I think there's many, you know, I speak to a lot of people about many different activities that I'm involved in and they always say, oh, I couldn't do that. A, a really typical one is doing the cold water exposure. So swimming outside in cold water or taking a cold shower or taking a bath. People think they can't do that, but everyone can. It's just about, can you withstand the slight uncomfortable feeling at the beginning of the experience. Something else is, you know, maybe if you're a dude, uh, maybe going up and talking to a girl, a random girl in a shopping center or on the street. Cause a lot of guys would be like, oh, I can't do it. But you can do it. You just need to dig deep and, and pull that, pull that confidence from deep within you. Cause everyone's got the confidence, but sometimes it's just getting covered by the bullshit stories that you tell yourself. So once you start to do things that you tell yourself you can't do then you'll start to realize you can and then that's where the confidence momentum builds up you know for example let's say you've always wanted to do rollerblading and you've told yourself oh, but i can never do it start practicing because everyone can rollerblade 99 percent of the time maybe if you've got serious injuries or health issues you can't but you get you get the drift you get the sentiment start doing things which you've told yourself you can't do so the bullshit stories you tell yourself, you prove a wrong. Then you can start brainwashing yourself to become more confident and therefore hopefully become more successful. So the next thing that I think is important is when you set yourself a challenge is to achieve it or at least know that you've done your best. Obviously you can't always achieve everything that you set yourself for, but know that you've done your best. For example, let's say you've set yourself a new goal that you wanna lose X amount of weight. I don't know, 60 kilos, 10 kilos, 60 is a lot. And you know, you've given yourself a target of six months to lose 10 kilos, but two months in, you've just given up. Well then your confidence is gonna diminish because you need to prove to yourself that you are someone that deserves to be confident, that can execute, the things that they tell themselves and can, if they don't achieve the goal that they've set themselves, know that you're gonna put every single bit of energy into it you possibly can. Because when you start doing that, then you start feeling worthy and then you start feeling worthy of being confident. Because if you're someone and you, you're always lying and you're always setting yourself goals and you never stick to them, no, I'm starting a new diet tomorrow and you tell yourself that every day for a year and you never do it, well then of course, you're, you're not gonna feel worthy of being confident because you're never sticking to what you set yourself, the challenges that you set yourself. But if you start participating in activities that you tell yourself you can't do and then you prove to yourself you can do them and then you start setting yourself goals and you really put the energy 
into achieving them. Well, then that's a recipe for becoming more confident. Anyway, I hope that was helpful. That was just a quick video, really. Um, I just wanted to sort of share my thoughts on that one. I might do another video with some specific tips on how to become more confident. So if you'd like to see that, maybe just hit a like on the video or leave in the, a comment in the section down below, like I said earlier. Wherever you are, I hope you're having a great start to your weekend and I will see you in the next video. Peace.